good, good evening, my name is Phil Wang, and I'm the answer to the question, what would it look like if Gok Wan got a bit fat? <laughs> uh, good evening, my name's Phil Wang, I'm the answer to the question, what would it look like if Michael McIntyre had a child with Gok Wan? <laughs> Uh, good evening, my name is Phil Wang, and I'm the answer to the question What would it look like if uh, Gok Wang got Gok Gok Wang? Gok Wang? <laughs> right. S some people play music all the time. Um, I hate stereotypes. <laughs> like, it's the kind of place where you see boy racers pumping Radio 4. <laughs> I was in a bar recently, and this bloke was trying to start on another bloke at the back, and he just went, Oi, Mike! Mike! No, not you. You! Do you want to take this out fresco? <laughs> so, uh, so who here watched X Factor when it was on? Yay. Make joke about X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> so I was walking down the road the other day and I came across a Ned. You know, like a Ned. And, and he was like, he was like, Oh! <laughs> oh! That's just an impression I like to do. <laughs> My friend was a um, bad stamp collector. He got kicked to death. <laughs> I had a bit of an issue with kids chasing when I was at school because I'm gay. Uh, and yeah, he's not wearing pink, imagine. <laughs> no, it was hard, it was hard, school got bullied. Got all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Hey Sam, you drop your gay card. Hey, yeah, you drop your gay card. Drop your gay card. Yeah, you drop your gay card. So I made one. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, well, I'll tell you about my mate. Um, my mate, we'll call him C. C bought himself uh, a Kazakhstani fighting duck. Um, and then, like, as you'll all be aware, they're pretty vicious. Um, so for Christmas, I thought I'd do the good thing and buy it a muzzle. You know, nothing too flashy, but it fits the bill. <laughs> and that, that's the story, really. It's more of a framework to hang that quite poor joke on. My friend is homophobic. He likes burning down houses. Tyrannosaurus Rex is my least favourite dinosaur because, like, not only is he a mean, scary predator, I also think he'd be the most annoying dinosaur to talk to because everything he said would be in quotation marks. <laughs> But we do like our cheap stuff. I mean, you guys know, you're here enjoying a cheap night stew comedy instead of paying for a TV license. <laughs> and enjoying drinks for a couple of quid in the bar instead of eating dinner. <laughs> well, I say dinner, give me a cheer if you're a northerner. Hey. I should probably say tea if I wanted to appease you guys and, you know, be wrong. <laughs> if two shower gels become friends, do they gel? <laughs> I did a gig in Reading recently, um, a lot of press interest in this gig, I was asked by a reporter, what do you know about Reading, Ian? And I don't know a lot about Reading, so I had to Google it. And apparently Reading is the cognitive process of understanding a written <laughs> You may have seen me before uh, in December. I used to have really quite long hair, and I got my hair cut recently because I wanted to look like Matthew Fox from Lost. And uh, I don't, uh, but I, I got it. I, I'm wondering about this haircut because I get my haircut at a Japanese salon in Covent Garden, and I went back into work, and Miyoko had cut my hair, and I say to my colleague Vicky, I'm like, Vicky, seriously, you have to tell me the truth here, okay? Does this haircut make me look too Japanese? <laughs> and she said, uh, <laughs> it's not the haircut. <laughs> Definitely something else. Uh, I'm not even Japanese either, but you thought that I was because I tricked you. And you yeah. I'm Chinese, but whatever. Yeah. It's the same. <laughs> it's the same. Except for war. Thank you. Good night.